Hi, my name's Terry. I'm a proud Go Red for Women ambassador. I'm also a wife, a mother, a daughter, and one of the 35,000 babies born each year in the United States with congenital heart disease. Obviously, Go Red for Women and the American Heart Association are important causes to me, but not just because of what they've done for me as a woman or even as a woman with heart disease. In the last year alone, the American Heart Association has played a vital role in helping to save the lives of three of my family members. I'm pleased to be able to introduce you to them today so you can hear their stories and learn more about why what Go Red for Women and the American Heart Association are doing is so important. My name is Karen. I'm the mother of Terry Miller and I have had a heart experience that has been really different. One morning um, when we got up, my husband discovered that I was a non-functioning person. By that I mean I didn't respond to anything and I forgot how to do the simplest of things like taking my diabetic blood test. I forgot how to get dressed. I forgot everything. He finally managed to pour me into some clothes and took me immediately down to the emergency room at the local hospital. When I got there, my heart was starting to go through sessions of stopping beating and then starting again. And I started slipping into almost kind of a, a coma-like state. They couldn't figure out what the problem was. So they called Life Flight and they flew me into the uh, one of the larger hospitals in the greater Portland area. And there I was treated by at least seven assorted specialists. And over the next week, they managed to get things straightened out. I'm extremely thankful that the Heart Association had gotten all of the doctors that were in on this and everything so that the, the life flight was available. The doctors weren't ashamed to say, we don't know what to do. We need to send her on to somewhere that does know. The doctors at the bigger hospital who were all specialists did know what to do and knew what medications to give me and what ones to take away. I think without the Heart Association, I'd have probably been pretty well pickled. Because of the work of the Heart Association and other organizations, the systems were in place to save my mom. I'm Linda. I'm Scott's mother and Terry's mother-in-law. And I'm here to tell you about my story. One morning I woke up and uh, my heart was racing, which ha has happened in the past, but it didn't stop like it has happened in the past. We couldn't get a blood pressure. It took six times. Finally I got it. And I went into, I called the advice nurse because my blood pressure was really very low. Uh, but my heart rate was 189. And she very quietly said, I want you to hang up and call 911. And so I did. And five very attractive men came into my house and opened my blouse and uh, checked me out and found out that I have a condition called SBT which means that my heart rate, uh, heart beats very quickly, very, very fast, and I can uh, reset it if I cough hard or if I bear down very hard, it normally will reset my heart. And then if that doesn't do it, I'm to go into the ER. But we need the heart association because the heart is such an intricate and complex organ. And there's so many different things that can go wrong, as you can see by our family, that we really need all the heart research that we can get. 
It's because of the fundraising and the research that the Heart Association has done that my husband has a pacemaker in his chest today. And because of that, I no longer have to worry about his health or safety. And I don't have to wonder whether my best friend is still going to be around a couple months from now. So my story is I did get up at 5.30 in the morning to go work out like I do almost every morning and um, was walking down the hallway at, near the stairs and next thing I knew I woke up and I was on the landing next, you know, halfway down the stairs. I went out to find him with his eyes wide open and no pulse. Um, I started the preliminary phases of CPR, um, went to get the phone to call 911, came back to dial 911 and he sat up and looked at me and said, are you dialing 911? And I thought I'd lost my mind <laughs> because I know he did not have a pulse. And in my mind, people do not go from no pulse to scolding their wife for dialing 911. So I went back to bed, got up uh, a little while later, went in to take a shower, and then I fainted or passed out again. And Terry dialed 911. So he didn't that... pass out, his heart stopped. The second time I learned my lesson, I dialed 911 before he had the chance to tell me not to do it. But that's when the ambulance showed up, they took me to the hospital. And while I was in the hospital talking to the heart doctor, you know, he's saying, how do you feel? I was like, I'm feeling fine. And I'm like, I kind of actually feel a little bit funny. And my heart stopped again while I'm hooked up to the machine, while I'm talking to the heart doctor. And so when I woke up from that episode, um, he said, well, you're going to get a pacemaker. Thanks to the research that the Heart Association has done, pacemakers exist. He has one in his chest. I don't ever have to worry about being woken up at 530 in the morning again. I had a pacemaker put in the next day. And then the next day after that, which is Wednesday, I went home and Thursday I went back to work. And I'm um, very pleased because of the American Heart Association and all the research that's been done that one, I was diagnosed really quickly to have a pacemaker and I could you know, go on with my life so very quickly. It's, it's really amazing. I'm, I'm glad that he, <laughs> he has this pacemaker. So for me, the Heart Association is all about speaking up to save lives, speaking up for yourself, being an advocate for your own health, which is what I've done. And I, I didn't know or learn um, how to do that until I became involved with the Heart Association. And I've made some significant changes because of what I've learned. I've gotten a new doctor. Um, I found out what my numbers were, which I never knew before. I, um, I have heart disease. I've had heart disease my whole life. I didn't ever know what the symptoms of a heart attack were for a woman until I got involved in the Heart Association, and that's scary to me. If, As someone with heart disease, if I didn't know that, that tells me there's a lot of people out there that need to get this message, that need to get involved with Go Red, that could be positively impacted by what the Heart Association is doing. Every year, the American Heart Association works to create more stories of success, like the ones you just heard from my family. But I know that my family is lucky. Today is our chance to come together and create more stories of success for the future. If our stories have been compelling to you at all, I would encourage you to go online to the American Heart Association website and make a donation today to help change the future tomorrow. Someone will thank you.